Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmon Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the Windows Security or Microsoft Defender update failure with the error code KB226762 that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So the KB226762 is a security intelligence update intended for Microsoft Defender offering enhanced protections against the latest threats such as malware and viruses. So some several factors that cause of this error including interference from third-party antivirus software corrupted cache and damaged system files and then i'll show you several methods to help you to resolve this issue and without further ado and let's go ahead so the first solutions we will do is to disable the third party antivirus so all you have to do is to right click on a start menu and then select on settings and then once you open up the system settings and and here at left side menu and then click privacy and security and on right pane and then select windows security and the next step and then again click open windows security and once you open up this windows security at left side menu and then click virus and threat protections and on right pane and then scroll down and then here at virus and threat protection settings and then click manage settings and the next step so you can see here the real time protections and then we need to turn off okay so you can see this button so toggle off if you receive user account control and click yes all right so once you turn off this real time protections and the other solutions we will do is to run the windows troubleshooters so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and then here at search for apps and then type troubleshoot settings and then click open and then next step so under at options and then select other troubleshooters and under here at most frequent and then select windows update and on right side and then click or tap this run and wait to complete the detecting problems initializing and diagnostic process and troubleshooting has completed so whatever the result for scanning and then you need to follow on screen instructions so we have here the problem spawn this the windows update issues and then you need to follow all the detailed information here so after here at windows update and then close and the other solutions we will do is to repairing system files so all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu and then type cmd or this is the command prompt and then you need to right click and tap run as administrator if you receive your account control and click yes and once you open up this administrator command prompt and the next step we need to enter this command keyword the same space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health so use this keyboard shortcut control plus c to copy that command keyword and then paste in here so use this keyboard shortcut control plus b to paste and press enter and deploy image image servicing and management tool so here we need to wait to complete the verifications into 100 percent in a couple of minutes and the restore operations completed successfully and the next command keyword that we need to enter so just type this command keyword sfc space slash scan now and then slash scan now that is one word and press enter and beginning system scan this process will take some time beginning verification space of system scan so here we need to wait again to complete the verifications into 100 percent so 
we will doing this uh, command prompt or this command keyword dsim and system file checker are the command line tools that can be used to repair corrupted files on your pc and finally verifications 100 percent complete and then we need to close the cmd at here at start menu and then we need to restart again all right so that's it guys on how to fix the kb226 7602 update failure for microsoft defender and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial